okay dear students uh, so the graph below shows the variation with time t of the velocity v of a car traveling in a straight line the graph is shown and we need to comment about the further graphs as it is evident from the question so we would be going downwards to the options first of all let us understand the question properly now velocity and time graph is given and as it is evident from the graph you can see that number one velocity is always a positive it is never negative so it is not changing the direction of the motion it is moving in the one side only and it is not moving backwards so it is not a returning back another thing is up to some certain time i can say that the velocity was constant so it was uniform motion because velocity is neither changing the magnitude nor it is changing the direction so it means acceleration is zero for this and whenever velocity is constant the displacement time graph is always a linear graph which is a straight line having an angle so it's like um s is equal to ut plus half at square as we know because acceleration is zero the formula reduces to displacement is equal to velocity multiplied by time that's a very simple formula so this can be compared with y is equal to mx so it should be a straight line which is passing through the origin for the students those who are good with maths now so from this point from a to b let us say the displacement graph will be the straight line but afterward when it is going from b to c the point to be noted is velocity has started reducing number one velocity is reducing number two it is reducing at a constant rate so it is a retardation but the acceleration is a constant so it is reducing at a constant rate okay so acceleration retardation is constant number three the velocity is never becoming negative so it is not changing the direction so these are the three things that we now know let us now move to the options what is the question wants us to say this is about the understanding question now let us move which graph shows the variation with t for the displacement so as i have told you from the journey like uh, from a to b from a to b as i have told you the velocity was constant so it will be a straight line which is passing through the origin so for that period now this is wrong and this is also a straight line which is passing through origin this is also a straight line passing through origin straight line passing through origin so answer can be b c d now further afterwards from when we were talking about b to c when the velocity was reducing at a uniform rate it means acceleration was constant so in such a time the displacement is generally a parabola like s is equal to ut plus half at squared so you we can say it is ut minus half at square because it is retardation so it is displacement directly proportional to minus t square it is like this so evidently it is a parabola and it is a negative parabola so it will be different so uh, let us see this is a parabola this is a parabola but this is a straight line so d is not the right answer the answer will be from b and c now furthermore in b the displacement is becoming zero after some time but because the velocity is never becoming negative the body is not returning back the displacement can never become zero so b is also wrong c will be the correct option I have given a very detailed solution. I know it it would be a time consuming a little bit, but it would be uh, highly conceptual, isn't it? So let us first of all verify the answer from the mark scheme. And yes, the answer is C. So with this, all the best.